Hi, Mr. Cruz. Uh, you already know me uh, for the project, uh, part B of the final, decided to do the 80s. Um, so, I'm going to go through a full, a full timeline of the 80s. So, starting with the year 1980, we have, of course, Jimmy Carter and his failed attempt at rescuing the hostages, the American hostages in Tehran. Um, they wouldn't be released until 1981, until Reagan becomes president. Um, on December 8th, 1980, John Lennon is assassinated, first of the Beatles to die. Um, in, Mar in May of 1980, Mount St. Helens erupts, devastating part, part of Washington, May 18th, 1980. Um, Devastate at 8:32 a.m. Mount St. Helens erupts, devastating a part of Washington and blanketing many of the U.S. in a dark cloud of ash and sulfuric acid. Awesome. In 1980, Pac-Man is released on the Atari 2600, um, becoming the most popular video game of the 1980s. The Rubik's Cube, invented in Hungary by some guy named with the last name Rubik's. Um, uh, becomes the most popular toy in the 1980s. Of course, everyone loves to challenge themselves with the cube. Uh, 1980, Ted Turner establishes CNN, becoming the world leader in news. Of course, it will become corrupt as the years go on. We go on to 1981. Uh, it was the assassination attempt on the Pope by a Turkish, by a Turkish refugee. Turkish Muslim. He wanted to become famous, and the one thing to do was assassinate the Pope. And March 30th, 1981, Ronald Reagan is has an attempted assassination on him by John Hinckley Jr. Uh, he survives, obviously. Um, I think first in 1981, the first woman is appointed. First woman is appointed the Supreme Court on July 7th, 1981. Her name is Sandra Day O'Connor. Becomes one of the most famous Supreme Court justices we ever had. Um, and also in 1981, uh, millions watch the royal wedding between Princess Diana and Prince Charles. Um, yeah, Charles, um, on TV, obviously. Um, in 1981, scientists identify the deadly disease we know today as AIDS. It starts off as HIV and then goes to AIDS. Um, in 1981, personal computers, otherwise known as PCs, are introduced by IBM. Of course, they'll, they won't become popular until Apple comes into the spotlight. In 1980, now we go on to 1982, uh, Steven Spielberg directs the most famous, the most popular movie of the 1980s, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Uh, also in 1982, the Falkland Islands inv are invaded by Argentina. The Falkland Islands are British held, um, are British held, and Argentina wanted them back because they were once owned by Argentina. And so, yeah. Uh, in 1982, King Henry VIII ship, the Mary Rose, raised after 437 years of being under sea. Yay! Also in 1982, Michael Jackson released Thriller on hold on hold on, on November 30th 1982, becoming the best selling album of the 1980s and the best selling album in all of music history selling nearly 104 million copies to date, 65 million being within the U.S., 104 million worldwide. And a year later, December 2nd, he would release the music video, the longest video. It's actually not the longest, but it would become the music video everyone would want to copy. Of course, no one really has, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, also 1970. 
1982, Reverend Sun Myung Moon goes back to the Unification Church there. Hey, cults! Um, Reverend Sun Myung Moon marries 2,075 couples at Madison Square Garden. And also in 1982, the Vietnam War Memorial opens in Washington, D.C., dedicating the 58,000 soldiers that have died during the war, during the conflict. And now we go to 1983. In 1983, the Cabbage Patch Kids become popular, become the most popular doll in the 1980s. In 1983, Reagan announces the defense plan known as Star Wars. And stole it from uh, George Lucas. Also in 1983, Sally Ride becomes the first American woman in space. And yeah. In 1983, the Soviets shoot down a Korean airliner, but it would become known, it would become clear later on that America actually did it. But we blame it on the Soviets, and yay! In 1983, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut is bombed. And now we go to 1984. Uh, the movie, 1984, is released, uh, uh, obviously about the 1949 book by George Orwell. Um, in 1984, a huge poison gas leak in Bhopal, Bhopal, India. Uh, and also in 1983, Indira Gandhi, India's Prime Minister, and obviously daughter Mahatma Gandhi, Mohandas Gandhi, is killed by two bodyguards. So she assassinated. Oh. Um, in 1984, the last thing, the PG-13 movie rating is created. Now we go to 1985. We have Back to the Future opens by Robert, directed by Robert Zemeckis and, produced and presented by Steven Spielberg. Um, in 1985, Famine in Ethiopia, which create which um, inspires American songwriters Michael Jackson, Billy Joel, Diana Ross, uh, Elton John, Ray Charles, Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Stevie Wonder, all those American um, music people. They create a song called Heal the World. It's eight minutes long. You've probably heard of it. Um, and also inspired British music um, music people. David Bowie, um, part, people from Led Zeppelin, Ozzy, um, all those other British people to create a, song, a Christmas song called um, you've probably heard it on the radio before. It's, their band is called Band-Aid. It's they don't know it's Christmas time, yeah. So yeah, they dedicate those two songs to the famine in Ethiopia, but I don't know how that's gonna help the people in Ethiopia when they're just songs, like, people need to eat, come on. But Bono would sponsor Live Aid, and yeah, it would help raise money for the people in Ethiopia, so thank you, Bono. Um, In 1985, the first internet domain name is registered, probably Google or Yahoo or Netscape. Um, in 1985, guerrilla specialist Dion Fozzi is murdered. I have no idea who that is. Um, in 1985, hole in the ozone layer is discovered. Mm, nice. Um, in 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev calls for glasnost and per perestroika. And also becomes the premier, and also becomes elected, is elected premier of the Soviet Union. Um, in 1985, new Coke hits the market. Also during the 80s, we see a big war between Pepsi and Coke. Michael Jackson sponsoring Pepsi, other people, other celebrities sponsoring Coke, but people go for Pepsi because, hey, Michael Jackson, so, yeah. Um... In 1985, Rock Hudson dies of AIDS, and this takes both the P the community of the LGBT and straight people to discover that AIDS does didn't really rock the gay community, but it can also rock people who aren't gay. So it can infect anyone, because people in the beginning thought AIDS was just for the homosexual community. When Rock Hudson died, everyone's like, he infected everyone. And so everyone was like, oh shit, we gotta raise awareness. 
which we've been doing. Uh, and the serial killer known as the Night Stalker, who would become known as Richard Ramirez. Serial killers. Uh, starts his killing spree and would last until 1987 when he's caught and left his fingerprint on his rear rear mirror. And that's how he's caught in Oakland, California. Could have gotten away. Could have gotten away. Uh, and also in 1985, sinking of Greenpeace, Greenpeace's ship Rainbow Warrior. No idea what that means. Um, 1985, I know what Greenpeace is. It's a charity. It's like a Peace Corps thing. Um, 1985 terrorist hijacked TWA Flight 847. So I guess besides 9-11, we also had other hijackings. Um, in 1985, oh yeah, here we are, U.S. singers record charity single, We Are the World. Obviously, um, it hosts to many American, hosts to many, it was on January 28th, 1985, 45 famous musicians got together at the AMM Studios in Los Angeles and recorded the song, We Are the World. Their goal was to raise money to help end the famine that was devastating Ethiopia and other parts of Africa. We Are the World, which had been written by Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson, became initially popular when it was released on March 7th, 1985, and skyrocketed to the number one spot on the Billboard charts. The fundraiser was a huge success, selling over 20 million copies and raising more than $16 million for the nonprofit organization USA for Africa. And it sponsored, again, Diana Ross, Billy Joel, um, Hall and Oates. Uh, Stephen, I can't remember the lead singer of Journey. But he was there too. Uh, in 1985, also, the wreck of the Titanic is found. Wreck of the Titanic is found. And now we go to the 1986 on January 28th, 1986. After 73 seconds being in the air, the space shuttle Challenger explodes, killing seven on board, including a teacher, Krista McAuliffe who became the first teacher in space, but she never really reached space because Challenger explodes, and there's many schools dedicated in her name in her state. Uh, in April of the same year, April 26th, I'm going to say, April 26th, I think it was April 26th, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, at 1.23 a.m. on April 26, 1986, Reactor 4 at the nuclear power plant near True near Chernobyl, Ukraine, exploded, releasing more than a hundred times the radiation of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima or Naga and Nagasaki. Thirty-one people died shortly after the explosion, and thousands more are expected to die from the long-term effects of radiation. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster dramatically changed the world's opinion about using nuclear reaction for power. So, yeah. Um... Uh, sorry about this. Sorry about this. Okay, so in 1986, Ferdinand Marcos flees the Philippines. I think he was the, the president of the Philippines or dictator. I'm not sure. Um, sorry. Um, in 1986, the first PC virus, known as Brain, goes viral. Um, 1986, Haley's Comet passes by. In 1986, a scandal unfolds between Reagan and his, and his administration. Known as the Iran-Contra scandal, which we, when we were selling missiles to Iran, we used the money to fund the Nicaraguan Contras to fight their communist coup. And... Major Poindexter said the buck stopped there, but Reagan took full responsibility, but not before blaming it on Oliver North. Good job, Reagan. Uh, in 1986, Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey's show gets national syndication, and 
she becomes the most famous TV talk show host in American history. And first black woman to ever do it. Good for her. In 1986, the U.S. bombs Libya, and also, the last thing in 1986, USSR launches Mir Space Station. In 1987, DNA is first used to convict criminals. And that's how Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, gets caught. In 1986, Klaus Barbie, the Nazi butcher of Lyon, sentenced to life in prison. Also during this time, we're still trying to find Nazi soldiers, Nazi people. In 1987, New York Stock Exchange suffers huge drop on Black Monday. Um, in 1987, West German pilot lands unchallenged, lands unchallenged in Russia's Red Square. In 1988, Pan Am Flight 103 is bombed over Lockerbie. Have you even heard of it? We're going to check it out. On December 21st, 1988, Pyam Am Flight 103 exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland, looking, killing all 259 people on board as well as 11 on the ground. Though it was almost immediately evident that a bomb had caused the disaster, it took more than 11 years to bring anyone to trial. What happened to the plane? Why would, why would someone plant a bomb on Flight 103? Why did it take 11 years to have a trial? Guess who was behind it? America and Britain. Yay! Conspiracy. Conspiracy. And lastly, in 1988, the U.S. shoots down Iranian, Iranian airliner. And in 1989, last year, the Berlin Wall Falls, November 9th, 1989. 1989, Exxon Valdez spills millions of gallons of oil on the coastline of Alaska. Um, in 1989, Romanian leader Nica Nicolae Sorescu and his wife are executed after against crimes against the Romanian people, and then Romania becomes a democracy, as it is today. Uh, in 1989, students are massacred in China's Tiananmen Square. And in 1990, actually, last thing in 1989, a huge earthquake devastates California um, in October of 1989. October 17th lasts for about 30, oops, sorry, no, lasts for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And um, devastates. San Francisco. It was at the base of a mountain known as Loma Prieta, and yeah, kills about 50 people and costs about six billion dollars in damage. Yay! And in 1990, the World Wide Web is invented. Thank you. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Just don't hesitate to.